Bark. Heck. Bjork. Yeah, I can't, I can't yeah, replicate that. Swedish, so he can't in any way relate to that. Yeah. Oh, but I know well, that Swedish people... people... Oh, Swe Swedish people sound like, um... Sound, sound a bit like, like they've taken uh, a whole fistful of antidepressants and been hit on the head with a hammer. So it's a bit oh. like, uh, how are you there? This is sort of how I sound like. I'm a Swedish person. I think their accent is sound ridiculous. He, he didn't sound like that, he kind of sounded like, um... Oh, oh wait, he was he from the far north? Yes, he used to, he used to sound he sound like Robaz, but uh, but not a like an edge lord version of Robaz, a cute. Yeah, no, I get that. Yes, if you know who Robaz is. Yeah, no, I I I I I, I, I get what you mean because I know uh, you're talking about the guys up, up, up north that I sort of rolled their ass, uh, so I know I know which one you you mean. Like, like sort of what? But I don't know who that particular person is. They, they roll they roll their ass, you know, like Spanish people, sort of like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I know, I know what you mean, but... I, I didn't hear you there. I said, you know what a thick northern accent sounds like then, right? I don't know if I can yeah. properly replicate one, because I, I... Like, I live in the south, so I rarely speak to those people. You'll wear like winter hats and sell lumber. Yeah. You look like a soft as you can get, can't you? Don't you? Or maybe what? not. In Scania, that's no, like no, a... No, I live, I live uh, almost, almost as south as I can get, because I live right on the northern border. Okay. Yeah. Oh my god, it's literally named like Red Like literally, Turnip. I can literally... Because our border is marked with a stone, like we live in the Middle Ages, and I can literally <laughs> walk through Wow. Like, it's a stone's throw away. Literally a stone's throw away. I live on the border. Is it- are there ruins on that stone? Uh, no, it's just a stone. Oh, okay. And then it <laughs> talks about how a bunch of people died there fighting to make that border. And I just look at it and think, what a bunch of losers. Yeah. No, the, the people who celebrate that kind of thing are losers. The poor peasants who had to die for it are not losers. <laughs> ah, whatever. Just yeah, I guess so. Ass. They died like a million years ago. Sharp pain? Wow, that sounds really good, actually. Like, they just go, excuse me, that's my great 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 grandfather. I am so offended by what you said. I feel terrible. I'm not gonna use death. Just... Like, I don't care about your caveman uncle. Fuck that shit. Caveman uncle? Jesus. So, I think I have a character I can recruit to help fill out this team of all of the people who got left in the goddamn void just now? Ah, oh, jeez, that's, also, that's really I'll rough. Right back. I'm gonna... You know, so I'll be just, just a second. Take I bring some back for us. Oh man, I miss Paper Mario now, though. Yeah. It really bothers me, like, all the Paper Mario games were amazing, they were super. F they were written like really, really fun. All of the character, like the new characters they introduced, especially like because there's you know like a Koopa character, a Goomba character. Like they took the enemy types that are classic to the franchise and made them like more or less like races in a without races without the hierarchy in the setting. And like so, you got cool like a cool Koopa person, and you got a cool Goomba person, and, and all that. And they were all really fun, really interesting characters. And Nintendo was. Because they were all made by like a third party, if I recall correctly. I can't remember who. I want to say Hell, but I feel like that's super wrong. Anyway, uh, and Nintendo was like, you gotta cut that shit out. Like, you gotta you gotta stop making original characters in those games, and it it sucks because th that was like some of the best. Yeah, those those, are, those like one of the best remember, parts of them. I remember playing. It was probably the first Super. The first Super Mario was probably. And I beat every single boss, all the way up to Bowser, and I couldn't beat it, so I had to hand it to my dad. And that was just kind of disappointing. For Super Mario? Oh. Like, for, for NES? Oh, for Super... Uh, Paper Mario, actually. I'm oh, for Paper Mario. Oh, oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, when I was a yeah. kid, uh, because, because of ADD, um, when I was, and the fact that I was a crybaby... Yeah. 
much, some combination of ADD and being a crybaby, maybe early bits of the bipolar, I don't know. I could not fucking handle, like, stressful or difficult bits of any game. And I remember very clearly, like, RPGs always had the, like, boss I was afraid to do because I didn't want to lose. So I would, like, hand it over to my brother. And I remember Ultros and FF6 was one of those when I was real, real little. My, my problem isn't wasn't being a crybaby, my problem was getting too angry to the point that I might throw my controller, and Same. not just like... It was, it was both of those, like, I'd be crying yeah. and mad. Crying and throwing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Well, I mean, I was oh. a little ass kid, but yeah. So, Wakatu's full of goddamn ghosty booze. And they won't let me travel there because it's so jam-packed full of ghosts, I guess. Unless, of course, I have someone with me who's from there. Which sounds more like a really flimsy excuse for an embargo, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? So... And they're making a lot of assumptions that you can't handle that. Yeah, right? So there's some... the skeleton, this alcoholic skeleton here is telling me that there's a dude, a samurai named Gen, who chills in Scrap, uh, and who is from Wakatu, and who uses a pipe like a sword, which is pretty rad. So I'm gonna go meet Gen. Because I desperately need anyone weird to fill out this team. I was clicking on to the uh, soundbar on the thing, so as I moved my mouse it was going louder and quieter, I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Uh, Anyways, that's our... Wait, did that say Manhattan at the top? Yes. Yes, there is a there's a city that is literally just called Manhattan. There's one named Devon. Which okay, is see, that's it's goofy. Um that Mario Tourist game, what was it called? Oh fuck. Uh when I don't know, but it was one like of those like educational game. ones. Yeah, yeah, that one. Hey, again, join. Will you join me? Oh no, you won't. I joined you. I'm going back. Welcome back. I still, I still can't. I still can't believe I repaired my fridge. Like I feel amazing after being able to do this. Like it just works now. <laughs> I fully repaired my fridge. That's fucking great. Did you I mean, do it with more rubber bands and toothpaste? <laughs> no, no, like um, no. No, that was that was the shower head. No, I know, I know. Oh I'm, still, I'm still genuinely impressed by that story, by the way. I, I'm not, I'm not even fucking dragging you for that. That's that's some MacGyver shit. Yeah, no, I, I'm very MacGyver. I made, like I said, I made a desk out of out of a dartboard and some water bottles. Well, I mean, if no, you're a me. poor and b don't want your roof to fall no. on your head, you you get that way. You told me to use the dartboard. I came up with a water bottle system. Yeah, but, uh, but, but yeah, I... yeah, wipe. I do, I do shit like that all the time. It's it's awesome. It's a lot of fun. It's um, fucking but, awesome. But this time I, I got to I like hinges and screws that I picked up at the hardware store. And, you know that's pretty oh, exciting yeah. too. It's it's a lot it's a lot more effort. It's it, it's a lot more effort, but it's it's, it's fun. But also, you I still can't believe your fridge is wooden. Like what the fuck? Like that's a thing now. 22? Why don't I... You have, like, ice in there? Like, big... Yeah, get to go no, get to go to your backyard, no, carve out I, some ice I, and insert it in. Look, Rolo, look. Ice is a thing of the past. Now we use salt blocks. Yeah. That's fucking radical. Oh, right. Well, what's the, um... What's the specific heat no, of, so... uh... Of salt blocks? Like, they might hold a lot of, you know, thermal energy. Or, you know, deficit no, of thermal energy. No, you... You completely misunderstand the purpose of the salt. No, the salt is just there to kill germs, so that you can Ooh. have sort of a... Uh, oh, oh, as a preservative. Okay, for some reason my physics yeah, brain was like, Oh, can we keep things cold with cold salt? Because I'm a ninny. <laughs> no, no, no. It's... <laughs> I mean, not the dumbest idea in the world, but no, in, in, uh, in the, like in the Middle Ages, they used to basically fill these casks full with fish and, and salt, so that, that was the joke, like it's a very antiquarian way of doing things. Ah, uh, okay. Your joke's a little too esoteric, too bad. Okay. Yeah, no, I know that. that. 
<laughs> I read too much. I wish I could read too much. Jesus Christ, I can't read anything. And I can, oh, obviously. I can read. Read. I read too much because I read more than anything at all. I've realized now that reading is a burden. People just think you're an asshole. It... I do it on the bus so that I don't have to fucking talk to people. Nah, I, I do it because I genuinely want to like better myself and learn about shit, but... Talk to people. Oh, see, that's the trap. You're not better than yourself. You're just making yourself more obscure to others. Right? You just well, lose your audience appeal. <laughs> look, I want I would want to I would want to argue against that. But the last book I've I've been trying to get through is uh <laughs> is, is Murray Bookchin's uh, The Rise of Urbanization and the Decline of Citizenship. So I I kind of can't I can't contest that point. It's the most esoteric and penetrable like very... shit. Yeah. Yeah. It's incredibly that's, that's, that's powerful the the, the, what's in it. It's just that's, that's the thing, like, just because oh, I, had, so I had read stuff, and I was able to debate you and win the debate, now I ruined something for you. If I was just an idiot who never read, you would be happy right now, reading. <laughs> so now I outread you on this one? Reading yeah, hurts everyone. Now. Exactly. No, fuck reading. Fucking A. Oh yeah, and I killed that flag, by the way. Oh, and why'd you have to remind me? Rest in peace, fly. I'm so, I told my wife, like, she's, she's next to the microphone, so when I tell her things, you hear them. Because oh, she okay. doesn't get to be, like, sick for a whole month we'll, now, uh, and get, like, infected blood, so that's nice. Pluto wear is good. Oh, magic wear does will? I don't know he's using that. You need that because you're weak as shit. Oh yeah, and here's, here's something interesting on a topic of me pretending that I hate reading, even though I'm actually fine with it, just to clarify for this next point, is that I would consider myself an anti-intellectual. And most people, they hear that and they think, ooh, that's not good. Mm, yeah, that right. That doesn't sound... Because well, I generally, it's yeah, been co-opted by a lot of right-wing bullshit well, now. Because it is, uh, on its own, yeah, anti-intellectualism is reactionary. But when you use the word any intellectualism to mean nobody knows what the fuck you're talking about and your job isn't to understand it, your job is to make it accessible. I yeah. wouldn't call that anti intellectual, yeah. but I would call that get, get intellectuals to like do the shit that they're good for. Oh no. I'm I'm an anti intellectual because if you if you observe the practical use of intellectualism, it's just to validate bourgeois culture. That's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh yeah, you said this before. Yeah, it's just it's just a type of class elitism, and that's why everyone thinks it's so legitimate and objective and great because you know that's that's the lens we see the world through. But then that lends itself to like say STEM looking down at like the humanity classes or something like that, right? Yeah, power cure on you. Yeah. Well, hand uh, so in that's hand. That's why. That's why I am actually an anti-intellectual. What are your I, abilities? I, I wrote an essay about wow. it again, you know, so that might disarm certain stereotypes about anti-intellectuals. Look at this point, shit. I'm just saying. All right. Intellectualism is a spook. So this, you got good stuff. You got good. You got good abilities here. Uh, maybe oh, yeah. they'll be useful. I don't think screaming Thank is an you. ability. I mean. If you're Sindel... Start screaming. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, you're not really, you're not really a warrior. You're a bystander. Because ah! like, like that's that's not. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You, you just. Well, yeah. look, it's a fucking Stay turnip, all right. That's that's, that's that's like the best it can do. Yeah. Okay. Good point. Yeah. The rules, more. Uh, like now, the question is. The real question is why you decided to bring a turnip to the fight. Like, did you think that through at all? That's... I'm still like, I'm still on the on the fence whether whether turnip is better than nothing or not. Uh, oh my god, and I can't even equip wears, a backpack on you. It also wears all these. Ooh, turnip. It's like Mr. It's like the Mr. Tito. I'd rather have a good old potato. Potato. A bit of the fool harvest me. And like that's that's the turnip you have. Basically, yeah. yeah. What did you just say? Hey, fool who harvest me. <laughs> no, the way oh, he yeah. said it. Peanut, lethal gun. Yeah, that's Mr. T. I pity the fool. 
Oh, I, okay. okay. That's what you're doing. We're old. Yeah. I don't think Amelia Amelia knows about old stuff. All right. I'm gonna save here. Yeah. No, I know. I knew. I know who Mr. T is. Like, I just didn't know he was doing a Mr. T. Oh, don't worry about him, Aurelius. I'm just glad you're here. Yeah. Yeah. It's good stuff. Oh, it's fun to comment on things and not have to like participate and do stuff. Isn't it? And yeah, conversely, it's yeah. fun to be able to like make sure I'm playing the game competently uh, yeah. and know that there's like commentary happening. What a relief! You should. We are judging you should, your uh, every move. Yeah. Oh, good. That's fine. Paying us for our labor. Of yeah, well, here, let you me let us. me tell you, you'll get you'll get 100 of the proceeds from my stream subscriptions. How about that? Okay, I ap I appreciate that. All of nothing is nothing. Afford... Yeah, I'll be able to afford some stamps in the next five years. Yeah. So I'm gonna have to carry Gen for a while, I think. Fucking a. Well, listen, we got we got your back. We got your support. You can, you got this. Yeah. I'm gonna see I if there's any you. other I characters in the crew. Didn't you have like six of them and now you're down to four? I, I did. Because of that Dark Labyrinth thing, uh, that took my entire team. So that sucked. Uh oh, okay. Amy disappeared. So I'm gonna go see if I can recruit uh, Princess Ray. I may have fucked up that, that sequence way back when, though. At the very least, um, this this oh, red haired right. douche I got is like really strong. Well, come by. What what about the Alki? Oh, oh, the Alki. He's he's good. He's just made of glass right now. He's got glass bones and paper skin because his stats are like I should have picked him up early in in the scenario. So he would have been the thing is a competent combatant. I then. think I think you underestimate glass. Yeah. <laughs> Because, you know, if you hit glass, you get all those shards in your eyes. That can be dangerous. You need to wear goggles. If right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry, yeah, I was gone for a second there. Anyway. Like, if you had, like, a solid glass army versus a regular army, the regular army would also have casualties. Ooh. If I can't get this person with... and I don't think I can... Uh, I do know someone I can get. I really hope I can... What? Oh, hello, oh, sorry, just playing like that. Oh, I got you back, so that's something. Who are you? Oh, you know so much about mystics? Oh, shit. Oh yeah, and the thing about this main character is that um, normally when Scumbag or Luge like collects princesses in his little glass coffins and shit, uh, he like takes their blood, you know, classic vampire shit. He takes some of theirs, and yeah. that's how he makes how he makes a thrall essentially. Uh, when he hit my stupid ass with a carriage, like a nerd, uh, he gave me an infusion of his blood so that I wouldn't die. But I. So I was made a half mystic in a very unique fashion. So I have a huge portion of his power and am resistant to his uh, his commands. Which is why so I was able like to a... tell him to go oh, fuck himself good. and like run away. So you're like Blade. You're, you're a little bit, one. yeah. I'm like Blade, except I'm also a cute magical girl. It's. I'm pretty much living the dream, to be honest. Oh, right. Oh, wait, See, what the fuck? Now my whole team's back. Would... Oh, what the hell is this? Wait, like, I'm... Call, call me an accelerationist. But I would rather be a full vampire with a mind control thing so that I can sort of speed up the whole revolution thing without the social consciousness thing. Right? Just every... Yeah, everyone will be under my dominion for, say, five years, then when all the rich people are dead, I'll just let everyone back. They okay, that's why not? What is all this? Jackal? It's a lot better than what I envision the teacher to be like, to be honest. What? Exactly, it's five years of your life. Yeah. And, and, but, you know, there's going to be some people who, uh, I guess what Art would call lifestylists who would 
<laughs> it's that. Like, sorry, I know it would work. The taxes now. They'll be fine. Oh shit. I hope I hope Discord stops farting soon because I can't hear what you're saying. Oh. It might be my internet, I don't know. Let's see if anybody's telling me I'm dropping frames. I hope I ain't. Okay. Uh, you seem fine. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Not that there are many frames to begin with, it's like, what, three frames per second? Yeah, well, these animations are anyway. Animations. So, I got my whole team back, I guess? That scripting was weird and it scared me, and it made me re-gear for a completely fucked scenario. Uh, okay, yeah. yeah, you still got that magic. seems like you're good now. Nice. Right, I'll uh, check on my noodles when, when, real quick. Okay. Ramen noodles? Uh, I had ramen. I'm making egg noodles, actually. The proper Chinese ones that are cast Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, you keep telling me that. Yeah, oh, you got good shit. Cast iron walk is amazing. Believe you. Let me take off. When, I, when I heard it. I, when I left here for a second, I heard my name over the stream. It's just, it's still so weird. It's like, that's me. Right, okay. Isn't it weird when you hear your voice like that? I am still not totally used to it. Oh, no, yeah, that's weird too, but what I meant was when Vince said Amy, so I'm like... Shit. I did. Yes, that is. <laughs> Well, just now, I didn't even realize. No, 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 no. Oh, this was like a few, few minutes ago when I left, and I, but I, I still oh, have the stream up. So you're like, oh, wait, oh my god. Okay, so Gen, so it's you. So Gen is fresh out of the box, right? Like I just picked him up. He's a million. He's, I could have gotten. He's at his like start, like beginning of the game stats, right? I've had loot with me the yeah. whole time, grinding and leveling him up. His strength is two thirds. This is now at end game built up two thirds as high as Gen's. Like all of his stats are totally fucking inferior to Gen's starting stats. That's how bad Character. Luke's stat growth is. The Luke yeah, but every, the time I used, every time I used to play these games, that's exactly you'd always have that character who would lag behind, and no matter how much work you put in them, for some reason. Yeah, yeah. In this case, it's actually because uh, Luke's like. Uh, his variable for, you know, the rate of stat growth, the likelihood of getting it up to that stat at the end of a battle, is incredibly low. Yeah. I think it's the minimum that it can be for oh, all of them. Well then, He's I guess in my case, incredibly it was confident. just lack of... In my case, it was just like a lack of micromanaging my team, then I guess, mm. probably. Because <laughs> I'm terrible at it. I'm, I'm very terrible at micromanaging. You know what? When I was a kid playing JRPGs, so was I. Like, it's it's not a th it's not a skill you develop uh, very young uh, for most of us no. anyway. So I'm actually gonna keep Gen and just hope he gets a lot of HP ups because he's still so much more useful. And most of these attacks are killing me in one hit fucking anyway. So to hell with it. Vince here with his fancy cookie. I wish I was there. I don't know. Zazma I'm keeping for fucking sure. Luke can eat a dick. Uh, oh yeah, Zazma just replaced the White Rose. Ooh, you're really smart and strong, though. I, I think I want to experiment you. with Amelia. I know, I know what I am. Amelia is perfect. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think I want to screw around with, uh, with Ray a little bit here. And see if her magic is any good. You get some guns. Because you're not really good with a whole lot of anything else, to be totally frank. Hello, kitty! Hello! Now, the best thing about that uh, junk shop bug that I exploited the hell out of, uh, like, in the previous stream, is that I have, t I have enough lethal guns to completely negate their only balancing factor, which is their low ammo count per battle. So like a fucking pirate, that she's just emptying all five shots and then just throwing it away. Were you trying to talk to this stream? Huh? Oh yeah. 
Yeah, no, the uh, um, uh, Edward uh, Edward Teach, I think it was, he famously did that, actually, in, in yeah. real life. It's, it's fucking genius, honestly. You just have a bunch of them, uh, like, on a strap over your shoulder. Yup. Uh, I mean, you're not gonna toss them. Like Billy... You're just gonna, like, fire them and then grab the other one. I mean, Billy, yeah. Billy Kid would generally fire, use two guns at the same time, and not many people would, because, honestly, a lot of people were... Most people aren't that good at shots nowadays, I probably wouldn't be either, but, you know, he was genuinely good with two guns. I hear Magnavists did it as well. Oh, probably. With the gun for holders. They could, they could probably, right. they could probably just... Yeah. ...in their mouth or something, like, they're probably just that good at horse riding, you know? <laughs> Confident. Um, oh. Flower. Well, they, the, um, yeah. I don't know if they did it on horseback, because that does sound challenging, but I, I, I hear that some of them oh, did okay. it just uh, sort of in oh. regular infantry combat. I was, I was still, thinking you're, you were seeing stacks so they were extremely good at riding since like a young age or something like that. I see how that works out. Yeah, yeah, no, I see, I see your points, but you need to also remember that uh, most of the Machinavists they were not Cossacks, they were just inspired by the Cossacks. Ah! Uh, Tatars and Cossacks and horse riders. Okay. Yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure some of them were. I'm sure some of them were. Yeah, no, but, definitely were. Uh, definitely because worked. you know the Cossacks, they were were just regular peasants with rifles, you know, basically just using whatever sort of clever tactic they could think of. I mean, they did all kinds of shit. You know, they would they would hide machine gun nests on the ground and yep. hatches, and then when the enemy showed up, they just oh, open them up and that's start shooting. Them, you know. That's just like, oh, yeah, yeah, they were. That's... Uh, and the Tachankas uh, too, you know. Oh yeah, the Tachankas, that's what they're most famous for. Yeah. Basically, the technical of the day, you know, it's, uh... They're, that's they really kind of... something there, it's not the real... That's like the Finns in the in the uh, Winter War and the Continuation War, what they did to the Soviets was pretty far and impressive. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, still will do it. No, I mean, the asymmetrical warfare is always going to have a leg up to just conventional military. That's a fact. But I'm, I hope people are entertained. <laughs> you know, the, the United States, they know it. Uh, they know that guerrilla warfare is superior. And if they actually wanted to win wars, they would do it that way. But they want to prolong wars. Because then they can drain tax money yeah. and give it all to the bank. Oh, absolutely. I it's mean, just redistribution of wealth. Human lives have always been a commodity to them. Uh, automated, war automated warfare has nothing to do with saving fucking lives. There'll always be more poor people to convince to go die for fucking uh, general dynamics. Uh, the point of automated warfare is um, you need fewer and fewer people, uh, which is to combat the fact that, you know, with material conditions progressing as they are, you're not going to get many volunteers for very long. Uh, and they don't think yeah. they can sustain, you know, bringing a draft back. Um, and it's also just... It's also, for other reasons I won't go into, better to not bother with the draft. You get to use the pool of people conditioned already. Uh, and also, it's just much more uh, cost-effective than shipping human beings and food over there. You oh, could yeah. just fly a drone over and, you know, strip mine the third world. Yeah, pretty much. All right. This, so, this I mean, thankfully, good. that won't last forever. I'm gonna put a shield on you, though. Can I have another one? Ah, just a buckler. Fuck oh. it. It's running out of manpower per, um, each year, so... Well, Shadow Dagger could be useful. Well, not just that. It's just that people... People are wising up, you know. Yeah. They already had one crisis of democracy, and they're gonna get several more. Yeah. One day, you know, they just they won't be able to hold back. Yeah, but will it be too back. late by then? That's the issue. Yeah, we're looking at Rouge, right? That Probably awesome. not. Like, I, I get that sh things will be terrible by that time, you know? I get that, you know, the A few rod doesn't have any stuff. So but as long as we can live... I just feel bad for people who live on the equator. <laughs> 